This is the Ben Brin Fro Thought for the Day for Wednesday the 20th of July. And the reading is taken from Luke chapter 20 verses 1 to 8 and I'm reading from the NI version. One day as Jesus was teaching the people in the temple courts and proclaiming the good news, the chief priests and the teachers of the law together with the elders came up to him. Tell us by what authority you are doing these things, they said. Who gave you this authority? He replied, I will also ask you a question. Tell me, John's baptism, was it from heaven or of human origin? They discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, he will ask, why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, all the people will stone us because they are persuaded that John was a prophet. So they answered, we don't know where it was from. Jesus said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Well, the story is about what are, well, certainly appear to be Jesus's least favourite people, the Pharisees, priests and elders, and how they try and trick Jesus. They do this by asking where Jesus gets his authority from. The priests must secretly suspect, and indeed fear, the answer. But they are concerned their power will be diminished if Jesus is shown to be a man of God. And so they want Jesus' authority to be taken away quickly, hence the question. If Jesus speaks the truth and responds with integrity that God gives him the authority, he will be accused of blasphemy, something which he will actually be successfully accused of later when he removes all ambiguity of who gave him the gives him the authority. Any other answer, and he will be shown as a fraud. So, Jesus instead, of, Jesus, instead of answering directly, answers with a question, basically asking if the priests consider John the Baptist to be a prophet or not. This throws the question at the priests, who are now on the spot themselves. If their answer implies that John was a prophet, they will have to admit where Jesus' authority came from. And if they declare him not to be, the crowds will turn against him, against them. So they answer that they don't know. And Jesus responds by saying he will not give an answer to their question until they answer his question. Now transferring this type of scenario to the present day, and we can see that answering a leading question that is designed to trap you with another question to the questioner can actually be a powerful weapon, forcing the initial questioner on the back foot. In the business world, answering a why didn't you discipline your team member with, well, how would you have disciplined him, can force the initial questioner to consider further the implications of any such discipline. And in politics, I sometimes wonder if a politician, when asked by an opposition politician, what are you going to do about X, was to answer, well, what would you do about X? What would be the reaction of the initial questioner? It might force politicians to think more carefully before saying anything. Anyway, that is my thought for today. Answering a question with a question can be a great way to avoid trap leading questions while maintaining our integrity. And Jesus showed us exactly how to do this. Uh, well, thank you for listening and have a good day.